When a long-running TV series comes to an end, fans can sometimes get a little bit emotional. But plenty of Game of Thrones enthusiasts aren't just sad about the show ending, they're mostly feeling angry about how it all wrapped up. That unrest has given rise to a petition demanding HBO remake the eighth and final season with a whole new team of writers, a tall order that they hope at least sends a clear message to the people in charge of the show. There's a fierceness you don't often see. They'd do anything to protect their babies. The online petition gained international attention as the final episode of the series drew near. By the day after the divisive finale, it had already received well over a million signatures. One person who was unaware of the petition's existence was the actress whose unexpected character turn arguably started the intense fan outcry in the first place. Daenerys Targaryen actress Amelia Clarke was told about the petition when she sat down for an interview with The New Yorker during which she gamely offered her ideas for a hypothetical do-over. But Clark also said she's, quote, in no position to critique the geniuses that have written eight seasons worth of wonderful stuff. Not a true story, necessarily. Clark revealed that she would have loved if Daenerys interacted with her handmaiden Missande and her greatest enemy Cersei Lannister more than she did during season eight. She also said she wanted to, quote, see a bit more discussion between characters during the controversial fifth episode of the season, which followed Daenerys and her allied forces as they stormed King's Landing. When the city surrendered in a peaceful manner during the climactic episode, the Mother of Dragons suddenly made a heel turn towards sheer madness, ordering her dragon to burn down everything in sight. Clark has since said that Danny's tumbling into madness was inevitable, but she would have enjoyed additional conversations being included in between all the action. She explained to The New Yorker, the genocide was there, that was always going to happen, and I just think that we are more than happy to contently sit there and watch 10 minutes of two people talking, because it's beautiful. I just wanted to see a bit more of that." Clark also expressed a desire in her idea of a hypothetical do-over to see Danny's quote last images being that of kind of a hopeful, childlike love, before she dies in the arms of her lover-slash-nephew Jon Snow, who tragically slays her out of a certainty that she'll cause more harm than good to the people of Westeros. Clark said Daenerys' death was a quote, shocker to read, but the actress also admitted that she isn't sure the character could have had a more triumphant ending. As she put it, I always knew that the show was never going to satisfy everyone. The stories are too vast, the characters too complex. The show is, in a certain way, divisive. Whose side are you on? Also, if you're pleasing everyone, then it's probably quite tepid. But to me, it seemed like the only way it could end. It couldn't have been easy for Clark to come to terms with what happened to her character, whom she has played since 2011 on the final two episodes of Game of Thrones. Her response to the petition asking for a redo is incredibly level-headed, which is admirable considering Clark's Daenerys was the only major character to die in the final episode. It's unlikely that those who hated Game of Thrones' final season will suddenly change their minds after hearing Clark's response to the online backlash, but perhaps her diplomatic disposition might inspire them to ease up a little. If the woman who had to play the character who went mad killed thousands and got stabbed to death over the course of two episodes can remain calm about the situation, the people who only had to witness the calamity should be able to do the same. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about Game of Thrones are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.